We begin tonight with that explosive congressional hearing about the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. You watched it live right here on Wish TV. The House committee investigating the insurrection released never before seen video of the moments that started the violence. We do want to warn you, the video is disturbing. This is that person is a peace circle, breach the line. We need backup. We have a breach of the Capitol. Breach of the Capitol. We need to close the doors of the Capitol. Now that shows previously unseen footage from the moment rioters marched the, the U.S. Capitol, breached the perimeter, beat police officers, and smashed their way into the building. Some people are specifically identified as Proud Boys by captions written on the screen. The committee is spelling out its case that Donald Trump and his associates conspired to overturn the results of the 2020 election. As Chairman Representative Benny Thompson warned democracy remains in danger from conspiracies that fuel the riot. January 6th and the lies that led to insurrection have put two and a half centuries of constitutional democracy at risk. The world is watching what we do here. America has long been expected to be a shining city on the hill, a beacon of hope and freedom. Also at the hearing, the first ever public testimony from Capitol Police Officer Caroline Edwards, who still has not returned to duty. She was attacked by the mob one of the first officers to be injured on January 6th. What I saw was just a, a war scene. It, it was something like I had seen out of the movies. I, I, I couldn't believe my eyes. There were officers on the ground, um, you know, they were bleeding, they were throwing up, they were, you know, they had I mean, I saw friends with blood all over their faces. I was slipping in people's blood. Leading congressional Republicans have spent today attacking the, the legitimacy of the committee and its work, including House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, who in audio released just months ago, was heard telling GOP leaders that he planned to advise Trump that he should resign. You said both publicly and privately after January 6th that you thought Trump bore some responsibility for the attack. Do you still feel like he was in any way responsible for January Look, I've answered that many times. I thought everybody in the country bared some responsibility based upon what has been going on, the riots on the streets, the others. Indiana Congressman Jim Banks was set to be part of the panel, but was vetoed by Speaker Nancy Pelosi. The committee has scheduled three more hearings for next week. One of those is expected to include testimony from advisors to then-Vice President Mike Pence.